Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Randall and Roof here, Christian, member of the East Columbus Christian Church in Columbus, Indiana. Today is Sunday, June 27th, 2021 AD. I'm currently in the home office in Titusville, Indiana, and this is going to be uh, a brief overview of the sermon that uh, Kendall Wildey gave today at church, and uh, it was entitled, The Choice is Yours, and it was based on Luke chapter 16, verses 19 through 31. And as you can see on the right side of your screen there, um, it's entitled The Rich Man and Lazarus. So I thought I would read it to you. It says, There was a rich man who dressed in purple and fine linen and lived in luxury every day. At his gate was laid a beggar named Lazarus, covered with sores, and longing to eat what fell from the rich man's table, even the dogs came and licked his sores. The time came when the beggar died, and angels carried him to Abraham's side. The rich man also died and was buried. In Hades, where he was in torment, he looked up and saw Abraham far away, with Lazarus by his side. So he called to him, Father Abraham, have pity on me, and send Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, because I am in agony in this fire. But Abraham replied to son, Remember that in your lifetime you received your good things, while Lazarus received bad things. But now he is comforted here, and you are in agony. And besides all this, between us and you a great chasm has been set in place, so that those who want to go from here to you cannot, nor can anyone cross over from there to us. He answered, Then I beg you, Father, send Lazarus to my family, for I have five brothers. Let him warn them so that they will not also come to this place of torment. Abraham replied, They have Moses and the prophets. Let them listen to them. No, Father Abraham, he said, but if someone from the dead goes to them, they will repent. He said to him, If they do not listen to Moses and the prophets, they will not be convinced even if someone rises from the dead. So, here's your two choices. Heaven or hell, where are you going? I'm a Christian. I'm going to heaven. Not because of anything I've done in the past, I'm doing now, or will ever do, but because of what Jesus Christ did by giving himself as the perfect sacrifice through death, burial, and resurrection on the third day. Okay, so the first choice is hell. Number one, a place of endless torment. Very bad. Don't want to go there. I'm not, and I don't want you to go there either. Number two, a place of unquenchable fire. It's always hot, which I hate. A place of eternal separation. In other words, you're going to be separated from God. No, n not even a remote possibility of ever talking or hearing from God. Eternal separation from God. Totally. Again, don't want you to go there. I want you to come to the knowledge of God through Jesus Christ the Son. The Bible says... No one comes to the Father except through the Son. Read your Bible. Pray. Come to God through Jesus Christ. So that you can have choice number two, which is heaven, in which you get a new body, which I'm definitely looking forward to. A custom-built home made by uh, God. A perfect place to live. And we're going to be able to see God in His full glory. So those are really the options, heaven or hell. I've chosen God because I have Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. But for you, the choice is yours. And I hope you choose wisely. That's my hope, that's my prayer. And that's the purpose, to say the least, of this video. So I'm asking that you pray, read your Bible, and talk to people who are Christians that genuinely love God and talk to them if you have questions or concerns. Or, of course, call you can contact us at East Columbus Christian Church in Columbus, Indiana if you want to. Uh, this, the full video of the sermon is on YouTube.com and you can watch that if you want to uh, on the East Columbus Christian Church YouTube channel. And again, the choice is yours. I'm praying that you make the right one. So until next time, I'm Ray Olin Roof. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.
May God bless you.